Anthology. I never met my great grandmother, Mary, who couldn't write her name. Nothing but a shy, shaky cross on the creased marriage certificate. Only knew my grandmother Dora from scratched sepia. Her young face telling her story better than any document of family's secrets. Self-heal, speedwell, meadow sweet, ladies' mantle and heart's ease. I'm gathering what I can for them, recording their names in print. Fragile charms of petal and ink to braid those lines lost between us back into wild, breathing life. This life, the only flower I have. Bernard and Serenthi. If a flower is always a velvet curtain onto some peep show he never opens, it's a shock to find himself sheltering from the storm in a greenhouse, seduced by a leaf blushing blue at the tips, begging to be stroked. He's caught in the unfamiliar ruffle of knickerbockers or petticoat, a scent of terror, vanilla, musk. If he were not himself, He'd let his trembling lips articulate the malleability of wax, the bruise of bracts, petals, purple, shrimps. Seeds plump as buttocks tucked out of harm's way, coco de mer washed up off curieurs or silhouette. But being Bernard, he's dumbstruck, a buffoon in front of a saloon honey, high kicking the can can. Can't, can't. He attempts to cool himself, thinking about seahorses, hippocampus erectus, listening to the rain, refusing to stop, soft against the steamed up glass. Because there are days, and more often nights, when words aren't enough, and the ones we find uncurling from our minds or lips fail to take root, I want to plant you a hedge of hawthorn. Named from Kratos, strength, it brings the singular gift of pitching the hardest grain against the softest petal. I offer you this. Settle back and rest. Watch the black stems spring into bud, leaf. A film that captures time. Tick, tick, then releases it. Let this precious blossom, clusters of sex and death, waft their hag-blessed musk and take you as they will, a spell to blow the dust off your winter skin, what's buried under it, shy of the lifting light. May the riddle of thorn keep you from harm, remind you of home, someone, somewhere, whose job it is to take you in, those open arms strong enough to bear whatever fruit tastes good to birds and us, waxwing and thrush.